Yes guys, the uh, the 970 and the 980 are out. The prices are much lower than what the 700 series were when they came out. So the 7 GTX 780, if I remember correctly, was $650. And now the 980 that is out right now is actually for $550. And the 970 is actually um, $329. As I've definitely, I did a video about it about the most recent recent uh, leaks that are coming out and you know i said the hub was going to be around 329. i kind of didn't want to believe it but i'm like oh my god if it came out like that that's a sweet spot for a lot of gamers and then i began to think a little, a little bit deeper now this card this, i'm really going to be focused here more on the 970 because the thing is at a sweet spot at 329 dollars and i'm thinking okay 329 dollars it uses only 145 watts if sony and microsoft were waiting another year i guarantee you this would have been the card that how they would have chosen to be inside those systems xbox one and the ps4 would have had a gtx 970 modified i guess probably you know um with an amd cpu that's nothing wrong with that and that would have been absolutely beast oh man just, just think about that for a second i mean the one of the things you're really concerned about on, on, on a system like that or the sony's really concerned about is really power consumption of, of course with graphics fidelity but this chip would have any kind of problem with the horsepower that it would give you and the energy efficiency that it gives you also because currently currently where the ps4 and the xbox one sits they are struggling they cannot it depends on the graphics fidelity it depends on the game but there are some games out there that can do 1080p full 1080p at 60 frames a second most of the time they're substituting either they substitute the resolution for the fps or the fps or the resolution so it's like okay 1080p but you only get 30 frames a second or you get 60 frames a second with like 900p or something maybe a little bit less than that you know and they, they struggle i mean even recently maybe not so recent the microsoft uh, came out or they didn't come out i don't know they said that how they had to do something with the connect i don't know disable it or um, we work the way it monitors you i guess uh so that they can give uh it, 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 when they disable the camera uh it would give the console a 10 percent performance boost and that's kind of a big deal so i mean if they have to do that that is a sad i mean the consoles they, they just came out the ps4 just came out the xbox one just came out and they're, they're still struggling to push 1080p at 60 frames a second games should be played at 60 frames a second not really 30 maybe 40 depends nvidia g-sync and free sync from amd i've never used any of those technologies but i've heard they're really good and from what they can do i guess 40 50 second wouldn't be that bad but uh i absolutely believe that the g if they if they have waited another year um the 970 like kind of a gpu a modified version of a 970 gtx 970 would have been in the ps4 and probably the xbox one because the immense power that the gp packs also with only 145 watts it's just like that would have been it I'm, i bet they're like in the office the executives are sitting in the office right now like, oh my god we could have waited we should have waited a year man tommy i told you we should have waited a year man could have got the 970 and they would have a beastly performance you would have had the system for another eight years why didn't you want to wait this one more year jesus tommy i strongly believe this and i was just thinking about this I was just sitting down thinking like, damn this this would have been a beast of the GPU to be inside the of, of, of the PS4 and the Xbox One coupled with an AMD CPU 2 gigahertz would be just fine it's $329 the PS4 wouldn't be 400 bucks well think about it this way okay when the PS3 came out and the Xbox 360 came out these devices didn't come out of 400 bucks they didn't come out of 500 if I remember correctly, a long time ago, when they came out, they're around six hundred and fifty dollars. So even if the price were to be, let's say, five hundred bucks, or maybe um, four hundred and forty-nine dollars, hell yeah, yes, yes. Within a contract with Nvidia, they would have been able to get the GPUs for a lower price. I'm, I'm guessing if that's how it works. I'm sure it works in some ways of that. We'll get it for a lower price either way. Uh, and we've been boss and, and just packed, you know, and just still be able to run 1080p, 60 frames a second with much higher graphics fidelity. Uh, it it, it would have been much better, would have been great, would have been great. And these consoles would have lasted, well, probably they probably wouldn't even last that long. I have no idea, but here a word around that the words uh, saying how uh, the PS4 
and Xbox uh, One, they're probably going to get replaced uh, pretty soon. Maybe in the next four years, five years, uh, new consoles are going to come out and replace them. That would be good. I think at that point, with the with the way everyone is heading, low power consumption, uh, the next generation should not fail us, hopefully. If Nvidia keeps going the way they're going right now, I've never seen such a graph. A 970, the second best right now in terms of the series. We're not talking about Titan. I mean, come on, guys. It's not a card, okay? The best in the series, 900 series, is said the second best of that series for 329. Come on, man. That's insane. So I would have likely, more than likely, they would have chosen this card to be inside of the, the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One if they can get it at a right price. And I'm sure Nvidia would be willing to work with them um, to get in there. I mean, it'll be great. I mean, even if, but if that would happen, a lot more games would have, more than likely have support for physics. Cause you know, physics is only in Borderlands and Batman and one or two other games that I don't really know. Uh, and you know, a lot more games will come out and they'll, they'll have more support for physics. I wanna know what you think. Uh, so go ahead and leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Would this, would the GTX 970 be the right car to be inside the PS4 and Xbox One? Let me know, man. Drop a comment below. I want to know this, yo. I've been thinking about this, and it's like, ah, oh, this would have been the perfect car for these systems. Uh, so drop a comment below, and I will talk to you guys later.